on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Hey, Piccolo, you want to go drive cars? Let's get it. Oh, yeah! I have no idea what I'm doing. Same. Oh, there we are. Tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? Absolutely not. I'm screwed. We're all screwed. I'm gonna die. I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. Yeah, that's true. Also, uh, yeah, so I gotta do another episode where I'm overpowered, unfortunately, because uh, I lost all my data, and, uh, I, I got to the fight where Piccolo has to fight Dr. Jiro, and then, yeah, lost everything, so, uh, up to that point, which should be by the end of this video, I uh, should be able to go back to my other save and continue from there. And so, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them, but she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. And that baby boy was Little Bruh. Trunks. That boy was a young Trunks. The child she had with Vegeta, all except Goku, were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. Oh boy. Then, as Goku and the others stood ready, flames suddenly began to break out in the city. Oh no! Thank you, Mr. Disposition. What? What's going on? Androids! An explosion in the city! Is it the androids? Yeah. Could be, but there's no way to tell from here. That's true. Hey, what gives? I couldn't sense their power at all. Yeah. Th that's it! They're androids, which means we can't sense their energy. Aw, oh, damn it. You're kidding, right? Where could they be? If we can't sniff them out, we're just gonna have to hunt them down. Oh boy. All right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know. Got it? Yeah. Go hunt. You go help the people who were caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. Jeez. Where could those things possibly be? I'm starting yeah. to think I should have had Trunks show me a picture of them or something. That would have been a good idea. Also, hi, Bulma. W wait! Uh, hey! Get your button gear, mister, and destroy those androids already. Like, holy shit. Oh, my God, that. Yeah. All right, let's go talk to whoever that is. Yeah, is that you, Krillin? Hi, Krillin. Yeah. Krillin, how are things going with you? Not so good, Goku. No androids over here. Oh, no. Gotcha. If you find one of them, let us know, okay? Yeah. Right, keep an eye on them. Let's go, over here. What's up, Tien? The engine hunt! Sorry, but I haven't found the androids. Same here. There's gotta be some place we haven't thought to look. Hmm, where haven't we looked? If me you're after, then show your faces already! Yeah! What I just said. Hi, Piccolo. Anything, Piccolo? Nothing at all. There's no trace of them anywhere. Damn. All right, be on your guard. Whoa, I just felt a huge drop in someone's energy. It's... Yamcha? Of course it's Yamcha. It's always Yamcha. Aw, oh, damn. Yamcha! Damn it! He got fisted. Krillin! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Yeah. Uh, right, I'm on it. Thanks, buddy. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? I mean, you don't really look normal. And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. Why does your old sound more like First Form Cell? Like, I'm going to absorb you. Huh? Why does he sound like that? You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. How do you know Goku's name? Yeah, how do you know my name? I'm not famous or anything. We know all of you. You are Piccolo, and you are Tien, yes? Well, I mean, you could have found that out easily. I mean, we, we, we all kind of fought, fought at the martial arts tournament. We can talk about this later. And Piccolo, I mean, he was a villain at one point. <laughs> Funny enough, so is Tien. And Yamcha, sort of. And Oolong. And Vegeta. Two thousand years later. And actually, pretty much all my friends are villains. All right, let's do this. How did they know our names? Not surprised the androids know about Goku. He's the one who took down the Red Ribbon Army, after all. That's far enough, Goku. 
This ends now. Oh, you know me to cut Piccolo off, goddamn, that's rude. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. Why? That took too long? You ever heard of patience? So, before we fight, tell us how do you know who we are? Yeah. <sighs> uh, I'm out of breath. Tell us. Very well. I will tell you, Goku. I have been observing you for quite some time now, using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. What the hell? That's kind of weird and creepy. <laughs> During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army. Stalker. So that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes, because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Only Dr. Jiro remains. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giro himself. Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giro is no longer among the living. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Huh? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. <laughs> you made a clerical error. You're in for some real trouble because guess what? You missed the best part. Why was there a pause there? Why'd you pause that long, Goku? What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyan. Yeah, that's right, you don't. I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. Oh, really? Why don't you come over here and prove me wrong? Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh, yeah? We'll soon see about that. Come on, Android 19. That's a large? What do you say? Yeah! Let's see what he's got, huh? What does he got? <laughs> oh. Oh man, I'm still out of breath. Why does my left arm hurt? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot that he was like super. Uh, I'm super strong. Don't want to alarm anyone, but I think I'm dying. Why would Goku be trying to rush the fight? He's already nearing his full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. Kamehameha! Uh, that's not good. He absorbed the attack? Goku! Don't fire any energy attacks. They can absorb them with their hands. Oh, well, that's cheap. Uh, that sucks. They're cheating. Uh. What's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. He didn't take his medication. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. Goku, you f moron. You forgot to take your medication. I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Damn. All the time for Goku to get sick. Why did it have to be now? Ironic. Oh, man. I'm not doing so hot. What's going on? Oh, no, my Super Saiyan. Why? <laughs> oh, God, no. Ow, it hurt. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh, my God. Someone kick him, please. <laughs> no, someone kicked it. Oh, thanks, Vegeta. If anyone's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me. Not some junk puppets like you. Aw, you do care, Vegeta. Shut the f*** up. I felt an incredible energy over there earlier. It was me. It's pretty weak now. Oh. Maybe the fight's over. Oh, yeah, it is. Go on. Hey, Yamcha's really? better. Yamcha, what's going on? He's looking a whole well, lot better now. did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the sensu bean. I've got more sensu beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Yeah, let me let me digest one. Over there. Just shove it in my mouth. It'll be fine. Dad? Hey, go, hon. The heart virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. No. Okay, Ooh. maybe. No. Oh. Somebody needs to get him out of here. Give him that heart medicine right away. Aw, oh, you do care, Vegeta. Shut the f*** up. Uh, Vegeta, you gotta be careful. He, Android 20, he's pretty good. Please allow me to exterminate Vegeta. Only a Super Saiyan's gonna be able to beat him. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. Damn. You can't do this, Vegeta. You two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would. You need the power of Super Saiyan. We already And you know. don't have it. The full 
extent of your fighting prowess. You need more than calculations to understand a Saiyan. Yeah, but you're not a Super Saiyan, so there's no point fighting him. So tell me, are androids capable of experiencing fear? Yeah, but only from Super Saiyans. You're... Oh, you are a Super Saiyan. Oh, oh my God. Vegeta, you're a Super Saiyan. Oh my God. You're for nothing more than greater power than train the hardest I've ever trained. Good job, buddy. Eventually. I came to realize the limitations of my power. Damn. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan. A super duper Super Saiyan? That might be impressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. Oh boy. That's it. You wipe that smirk off his face, Vegeta. Vegeta Super Saiyan transformation is now available. All right, let's all let's go talk to everyone. Hi, Piccolo. This is certainly an unexpected twist. I know. An Oliver twist, you could call it. That power is unbelievable. Damn. A, a compliment from Tien? Vegeta's a Super Saiyan? Yep, yep. But wasn't having a pure heart a prerequisite for becoming a Super Saiyan? Oh, I can assure you, my heart is quite pure. Pure evil. Pure unadulterated badass. Oh my god! Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. I mean, I might be able to if I'm better. And, and trunk, there's also trunks and uh... Well, let's do this. All right, well, let's go. Let's <laughs> beat him up. <laughs> You walking scrap piles don't feel pain, right? That must be nice. <laughs> Damn, you really showed him. He didn't last long at all. Take this. Welcome to Have Super Vegeta's Super Big Vegeta's Bang Vegeta's Attack. Big bang Attack! <laughs> Love it! Hell yeah, dude. Good job, Vegeta. You beat him up. <laughs> Not so cocky now, Android 20. Yeah, good job, Vegeta. Well done. Praise from Shimron. Damn, you got it, Vegeta. I've used up a lot of my power. If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Come at me. Come at him. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us androids. Wanna bet? <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Get him, Vegeta. You're super fast. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> Two. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, all three of them. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine, but don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know, okay? Yeah, we need some kind of signal. Uh, someone do bunny shadows. Piccolo and the others head out in search of the crafty Android 20. <laughs> Unfortunately, they weren't able to catch him and instead only ended up wasting time. Well, the... Thank you for that uh, bit of dialogue. That android is a whole lot craftier than I thought he would be. I know. There's been no word from Gohan and the others. I'd better go ask them, just in case. Mm, good idea. Let's see how everyone's doing. Since we can't sense his energy, this will be tricky. Yeah, I agree. Hi, Tien. Hey, Tien, got any? No, I still haven't caught sight of him. Oh, damn. All right, well, hold on. Let's go back. Oh, oh damn, I ran into a rock. Hey, Krillin! Have you seen him, Krillin? Nope. He's pretty well hidden in these rocks. There's no yeah. sign of him having left this rocky area. He's more than likely hiding something. But where would he be hiding? That's the question. Gohan, you find him? No, he's not here. I'm sorry, Mr. Piccolo. <sighs> it's okay, Gohan. Don't worry about it. And this is probably Vegeta. Had a guess? So Vegeta, have you spotted him yet? He's faster than I thought. Damn him! Damn him indeed! Don't worry, we'll find him. Damn, I hate to say it, but we might have lost him. How does my hand smell, bitch? Yeah, dude. Uh oh! <laughs> well, no calling your comrades now. Aha! Uh -huh. He still knows telekinesis, your energy though. She will be all mine. Go on, Android. Get over here! Get over here! Mr. Piccolo! Over there! Hell yeah! Come on, let's go! <laughs> You're as good as dead! Nope! <laughs> Surprise! Uh, how did they find me? <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> Thanks, Gohan. You okay there, Piccolo? You look a bit uh, shaken up. Piccolo is Senzu Bean! Yeah, toss him a bean! Okay. Senzu Bean! <laughs> Bruh. Mm -hmm. 
Hell yeah. Let me at him. Oh, let me at him. Let me at him. I got to be honest with you guys. When I fought this fight originally, a weakling like you uh, it was really hard. Like, really hard. He's actually got quite a lot of health. Like, even this is kind of surprising. This can't be Piccolo's power. Yeah, take this. Oh, man. You are not doing any damage to me whatsoever. Oh, God no. damn it. No. Be done in by the likes of Piccolo. All right, that's it. Piccolo, go all out. Yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah. Beat him up. Kick his ass. This is inconceivable. You should have nothing left. What you drained was only the tip of the iceberg. Just the tip. Nice. That was surprisingly a lot tougher than I thought it'd be in, in uh, with my current level. What's up, Trunks? Wait, these aren't the androids I know. What's going on? Chaozu really let himself go, if huh? It's not them. Who is everyone fighting? Hmm. Uh, I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. Oh, you'd be surprised. Piccolo's I've pretty made good. a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. You silly sausage. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out, which must mean we've changed the future. Mm, I mean, you definitely changed it. <laughs> You're right about that. Hey oh. Guys. Oh my goodness, guys. No. Hello. None of you have any hope of winning. Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you. The f did you just say? What? Ah! Mother! Uh-oh. Good job, Trunks. Uh, oh, thank you. Trunks? Trunks? Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Oh my god, damn! Are you all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah, I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? Where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it. You serious? <laughs> well, that's not good. Hey, look. Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Oh, yeah. Why didn't you do that, Vegeta? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. <gasps> oh, my God. The, the nerve of this man's. I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. I was just Chaozu. His head fell off. It looks like... The androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Oh boy, that's not good. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, that's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Uh... Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? Yeah. That might have been the actual Dr. Jiro. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. Oh. He probably modified himself to extend his life. Hmm. No way. That makes sense. You mean my coming here years ago changed history this much? Or maybe he just made a clone of himself, like, you know, but in android form, stuffed a, a clone of his brain inside the body and is still alive somewhere. Maybe under South City, uh, just kind of brainstorming here. Don't worry about that. He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what do they look like? Well, they look like androids. Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. And she got some big boobs. Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. How do you say it like that, a female type? I'm talking about her like she's a Pokemon, man. Come on. Oh, man, those uh, female type Pokemon. Oh, boy. <laughs> Do you know where Dr. Giro's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. 
I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. Mm. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army. That's crazy. If you knew this the whole time, why did we not go there and blow him up earlier? That settles the matter then. We'll find the location of Dr. Giro's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate Androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. Hmm. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. Yeah, good idea, Trunks. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. That might be a while. I, this heart thing's not great, I'll be honest. We have no need for Kakarot. <gasps> How dare you, Vegeta! You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Hmm. Don't stand in my way. All right, fair enough, I guess. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. Wait, you can transform into a Super Saiyan 2? Whoa, I can only do a Super Saiyan 1 so far at the moment. Like, oh my god, we can totally beat him now. I'm going to. He's difficult to deal with. But I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Uh, well, he, he, he meant, you know, father. You know, and he also, he said it like, FATHER! Like that. Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. The kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Really? Oh my goodness, my son grew up to be so handsome. Oh my god, I'm so proud. Uh, <laughs> well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. Yeah, that makes sense. Good job, Krillin. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys Got come it. with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giro's lab. Right, yeah. Okay, Boma, this is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? Tell him to come help when he feels better? I mean, you just told me, Gohan, I'm right here. Thank you. Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back. Take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Are you sure about that, Piccolo? Okay, be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. Hurry. We've got to find that lab before the androids are activated. Sounds like a good plan. Also, this is exactly where I left off on my original save file. So instead of me being level 50 right now, let me go ahead and load up my normal save, which is around uh, here. And we can continue where we left off properly at level 39 and not be super overleveled. So we're finally back on track, guys. Let's do this. There we go. That's more like it. What do we got going on? Let's go to the map. And, uh, oh, North Mountains area has been unlocked. Cool. Um, you know what? I'm kind of thinking we do some of these, um, uh, villainous, uh, yeah, a villainous enemy appeared kind of thing. Let's do that real quick. Here we go to Blake Bog. I haven't done those yet. I don't know how strong they are. I'll do at least one, I think. Looks like some. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. Let's beat him up, Piccolo. Let's go. Yeah. Nice. Good job, Piccolo. Let's get him. Finish that one. And then this one. Good job. I need to find another word to use. I keep saying good job a lot. Is that Android 21 down there? What's up, 21? Hmm. There are reported sightings of a giant ape, I oh wonder. Oh, my. Hmm? Oh, you found me in a rather strange place, haven't you? <laughs> I occasionally venture out this way to gather materials for my research. Oh, okay, fair enough. Also, I can't do that voice at all. Um, all right, let's do another one of those villainous dudes. Where are they? Is one over here? Let's go. If I remember rightly, these work that you defeat all the ones that are there, and then we get, like, better ones Ooh. in place Energy of them. Energy from this thing is incredible. Absolutely. I wonder if I can just ram hmm. straight into them. Looks like someone wants to die. Can I do but that? You're in for no, no, I can't. Challenge. All right, get him. Oh, what? Really? Damn. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, man. Blast him! There, I took care of him. Let's clean up the rest of the trash. Yeah! Darn. Get him, guys! Got him! Excellent. All right, there we go. There's another one up here. Looks like someone wants to die. 
you're ready for a real challenge. Surprise attack. Yeah, got it. Good job. Piccolo. There we go. Beat the snot out of him. I can't move. Okay. Damn. Got it. So if I'm not mistaken, they should level up now. Here we go. Something's about to happen. Oh? Hello? Am I coming through? Yeah. Listen up. There's an enemy near you with unworldly power. Oh, it's 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 Raditz, my my brother, and, and Nappy. I mean Nappa, sorry. Be extra careful. All right, well, let's go beat them up. Where are they exactly? They're somewhere. Let's have a look at the map. Ah, over that way. This ought to be interesting. There, I see them. What do you guys got to say for yourselves? <laughs> this energy is unimaginably strong. Be on your guard. You got it. What level are you guys? Oh, actually, pretty much the same level I am right now. That's good. Excellent. This should be a good fight. I love a good challenge. Get him. Follow up attack. Raditz was sorry, but you're almost down. Got him. Let's get nappy. I mean, Nappa. Yeah. Good job. Uh oh, haha, <laughs> psych. Get him. Yeah. Taken down. Not bad. Hey, we did pretty good. And I leveled up, too. Excellent work. <laughs> it seems my calculations were correct. Oh? You will all continue to fight so that I can see the completion of my masterpiece. Damn, Toa. Hello. Didn't expect to see you here. Just you wait. Mm. I will show you my ultimate power. Mira, you're a piece of a brain? Speak. Is this a piece of your brain? <laughs> well then, I didn't see that one coming. Okay, that looks to be really strong. Let's see uh, just how strong it is exactly. I don't think I'm going to be strong enough right now, but I'm at least going to try it. I want to at least go over there and detect the power level. If it's too strong, then, uh, you know... Yeah, I think that's probably going to be way above my... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not ready for that one yet. No way. I think I'll come back to that later. Maybe uh, Majin Buu Saga. Let's move on. I suppose I could do the Luka Village one and Kame House, but I might save those for another video. For now, let's go to Darlingi Polynia. So if Android 17 and 18 are activated, do you think Vegeta will be able to take them out? Hard to say, honestly. Let's just hope he can scrap those two before they're activated. Yeah. Oh, so this place looks great. Um, we got any uh, side stuff here? No. We do have a training mission, though. I don't want to play some marker there. built a lab in such a remote location, he must not like people very much. He yeah. wasn't exactly a well-respected scientist. No surprise there. Well, are we close to where the lab is? There it is, up ahead. Yeah, we're pretty close. Let's this see. Dr. Giroux was working for the Red Ribbon Army? Well then, he's definitely not a good guy. I'm gonna grab this super special bean cannon and then head to the uh, blah, 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 then head to the lab. This might come in handy. Aw, oh, damn. Special beam cannon! See that, Goku? Yeah! Come on, Piccolo, beat myself up. Special Beam Cannon! Aw, oh, darn. All right, let's charge up again. There we go. Get him. You're done, Piccolo. Got him. Good job. There we go. Okay, here we go. Lab time. It's close. What uh. just happened? Uh. Uh. How dare you? I created you. You didn't create us. We had lives before you ruined them. Damn. Oh, listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. You hear that? 
It's an order, Seventeen. We're not gonna follow a single one of your orders. We're just gonna take care of ourselves now. Damn, the Geezer. sass. Geezer. Geezer. <laughs> There's another one. What in the world is going on in there? Let's go. Uh, it's Android 16. Trunks, maybe you should blast him or something. Oh wait, no, too late. That's uh. I feel a lot better now. You know, one thing that annoys me is they, they totally miss the opportunity to have Trunks yell and go, if they set that Android 3, it'd be the end of all of us. No! But they, 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 they cut it out. They cut it out. It's like they cut out a lot of other stuff that's silly. Hey, what's that? That is Android 16. Hey, I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier model. He's a special model. Uh, Android 16? I've never heard of an Android 16. Wait, so so those are the androids that Dr. Giraud was talking about? Mm-hmm. Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Y yeah, but uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least I haven't seen him in my time. Yeah. So. What's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to make. Wait, where's Dr. Giraud? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. <laughs> yeah, he killed him. <laughs> All right, let's go. Get going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giraud wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Well, hey, don't go kill me for no reason. Hey, 16, you were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Uh-oh. Correct. Oh, no. Well, I guess that settles it then. I mean, I'd like to find him. Where are they going? Don't tell me they're actually going to try to find Goku. I mean... Well, that's what Dr. Jiro wanted, right? To kill Goku. Yeah. I couldn't give a damn about that. <laughs> How dare they? How dare they walk out and not say goodbye? How dare they ignore the mighty Vegeta? Yeah, they're not that interested, Vegeta. I'm sorry. Vegeta's Big Bang Super Attack you is now available. Ha, don't make me laugh. They're going to pay for not recognizing my power. I'm on the highway to Hiffel. Well, well. I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen. Ooh. Because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. You sure about that, Vegeta? You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? Well, I'm not. That pride of yours, it's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. True. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. I don't think you can, Vegeta. Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, 16. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Oh, all right, fair enough. Wow, what a letdown. Fine, I'll do it then. Looks like you're, he's not good enough for you, Vegeta, or you're not good enough for him. Vegeta, are you all right? Why don't you call him father? You've never called him Vegeta like that. It's weird. Father! <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and 18 are about to fight, so back off. Yeah. What? Still, just watching isn't much fun. I guess I could play with you guys. You know what that means. You and I won't be having any interruptions. <laughs> this is the way you like it, Vegeta. Be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. I bet you won't. Well, let's see what you do, Vegeta. Let's see how you no, handle yourself. You're an android. You're not really a woman. <laughs> Damn, did you, do you want to take that Android 18? You just said you're not really a woman. Oh, hell yeah. That wasn't the best you can do, was it? Of course not. Big Bang Attack! Big Bang Attack! Get him! Vegeta, watch out! Don't underestimate uh oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, 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 oh. Vegeta, watch out. Oh, you're gonna need a Senzu in there, buddy. Or invite a drink. Oh my God. Get behind her. Nice job, Vegeta. Power up quick. Don't underestimate me. Come on, I wanna dodge. Holy hell, she just spams. Come out to buy the drinks. Ah! 
Oh, this is bad. This is hard. Holy hell. This is actually going accurate. I'm getting my butt kicked. I don't know if I have gotten, I don't know if I got a lot more of those vitamin drinks left in me. Not good. Get her again. Christ, this is hard. Spammer, Vegeta, spammer. Vegeta, you really got to step your game up, man. This is not looking good at all. Looks like you're running out of Got her. I guess I better put you out of your misery. I mean, he's definitely running out of something. This is going to be brutal. You're going to get a broken arm now, Vegeta. I'm sorry, but it's going to happen. No, you live it up, though. That's good. Good experience. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. <laughs> Damn you, woman. Now you've done it. Oh, I think it's time we end this little game. You're about done, right? Oh, no. Oh, God. Here it comes. Oh, there it goes. The poor arm. Oh, and how is 17 doing in this? Uh, oh, ooh, yeah. Ooh. Well, that didn't end well. Oh, you leave Krillin alone. Don't worry, they're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. Yeah, that's nice of them, isn't it, Krillin? So, should we get going? But aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Why? Ugh, you can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that? You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. Sure, why not? Hey! Wait! Wait! Huh? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? Hmm. I mean, why are you doing this? Yeah! Well, first, we're gonna take care of Goku. Uh. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? Uh, yeah, I am. That's true. You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. Yeah, but shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. Yeah. Uh, you leave him alone. <laughs> oh, well, damn. See ya. Do, uh, Bye. Damn, Krillin be risen. I gotta help the others. Should call you Rizlin from now on. My goodness, Krillin, you rizzed her up, my dude. Good job. <laughs> it's pretty good. Didn't see that one coming. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan, regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Yeah. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win. Well, we don't know that. Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location immediately. And somewhere smart. Don't, like, move to mo don't move me to Kame house, because they'll think to look there. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? <laughs> Alright. What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Um, the Taco Bell? Huh? I'm not really sure. What are you trying to say? Yeah, what are you trying to say, Krillin? That's Kami's place. Oh. And? What does that have to do with He's anything? He's gonna go get Mr. Popo, uh, who's really strong, and get the androids to, to get killed by him because he's really strong, right? When I was back on Planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. Uh-huh. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. Wow, but, you know, Mr. Popo's probably stronger than that. So... I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. Hmm, I mean, that would be pretty cool. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Oh yeah, I didn't think about that one. Uh, but if either of them die separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so... Mm, 
true. Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Good, good, good one there, Trunks. You totally covered that one up. Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid, all grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. All right. Gotcha. We're going to get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? No, that's a stupid idea. They're going to look there next. Come on, Krillin, use your noggin. God damn it. Okay, make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. I'm going to know do anything. I, just don't put me in Kame house. God damn. Right, we'll tell him. I wish someone would tell you to grow a better brain. Ah, oh, goddamn. Overdo it, huh? <laughs> yeah, of all the times not to overdo it, now would actually be the time. The androids in my timeline were in no way that powerful. Has history really been altered that much? Next time on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Oh my goodness, Trunks, I found like your time machine or whatever. Like, what the hell? Nani the f. Whoa, I found a giant cockroach, guys. I like Nani the f. My name is Cell. I'm a bug man. Nani the f. Well, anyway, guys, um, that's the end of this video. So uh, stay tuned for more Kamei amazing content. And as always, thanks a bunch for Tell hanging us out what today. The future's like, Trunks. Uh, uh, I, I mean, if you want to, <laughs> no pressure or anything. Krillin. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything positive to say, so I'd rather not talk about it. Also, can I do my outro, please? Um, what was I saying? Um, it means yeah, a lot. Uh, now, don't forget. <sighs> I was. Uh, Krillin. I was just wondering. Um, these uh, androids. Uh, are they, uh, are they really as evil as you say that they are? Ugh. They're heartless, bloodthirsty, unforgiving killing machines. At least in my time. Why do you ask? Yeah, um, I was just, uh, hoping they might not be in our time, that's all. When it comes to these androids, mm. I'd avoid holding on to too much hope if I were you. Well, yeah, you're right, but, uh, you can't blame a guy for hoping, huh? <laughs> Get that subscribe button a Super Saiyan Punch! And you'll be notified whenever Where I post- next? She's got me still sticking around here? God damn it! Shut the-